I press record at some point. Good. Thank God. This stuff is gold. Let's be honest with each other. I'm Mike Falzone. This is Tweet Tap. We follow everyone, so you don't have to. Let's get into some tweets. I'll read them to you, then you listen. You listen. Happy Diwali, you guys. If I forgot to say that before, today is the Hindu holiday of Diwali or Festival of Lights. I feel like every religion has their own Festival of Lights. It's beautiful. Lights are universal. It's lights and math. Instagram user Aishwarya Sharma, and if I said that even closer correctly, I deserve a raise, has been posting her favorite pics of lights to celebrate. Here's one. Let's put it up on the screen now. Good. Looks like a sexy Hindu birthday cake. I would eat a piece and then leave a bunch for later, and then get drunk and eat the whole thing. Speaking of email hacking, which we just were, co-founder of Activate and columnist for Wired, Anil Dash tweets, kind of germane to this whole Petraeus thing. Did you know reading someone's Gmail doesn't violate the Stored Communications Act? Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't even know what a Stored Communications Act was. Let's read further and learn together. The article explains in a court ruling in South Carolina, if email hasn't been downloaded and stored as a backup onto your computer, it's free to be in investigated by the cops so long that it is relevant to the investigation. Yowzers. I hope cops never go through my email, man. Because they'll see that I'm planning a surprise party for them. For all the cops. And it would have been so great if it weren't for you meddling kids. In sports, baseball player Mike Trout won co-rookie of the year alongside Bryce Harper. Can there be co-rookies of the year? Is that a thing? Has that been done before? Yes. It sounds like the sequel to Regular Rookie of the Year, which is the second time I've referenced that movie on this show. Sunday, Felix Baumgartner, not to be confused with Henry Rodengardner from Rookie of the Year. Henry Rodengardner. Felix Baumgartner. But either way, congratulations to both of them. I'm sure they've done mad push-ups to get here. Blake Sheldon, never one to shy away from the limelight or the bottle. <laughs> I wish I had a small drum kit to give myself a rim shot, because no one else has ever. Or will, probably. I'll read on. And he responds to a fan. How many songs have you written while drunk? Just curious. Well, let's see, responds Blake Sheldon. How many songs have I written? <laughs> I wrote them all while he was... Um, the next tweet. Are you getting ready for the winter holidays? I'll wait for your answer. CEO of Bear Essentials, Leslie Bloggett. It's like a, a fancy French blog about bread has something to say. Just read that the trend now is skinny Christmas trees. Really? I like mine full figured with lots of balls. The skinny Christmas trees, yeah, they're actually called hipster trees. They just stand in the corner of your living room and they smoke and they act really uninterested about what you and your family are doing and they're like, can we just do all this Christmas bullshit last year? Everything we're doing is, is so last year. Oh, you're gonna put that ornament on me? You think you're the first person ever to do that? My name is Mike Falzone, this has been Tweet Tap. I had a great time giving myself scoliosis while leaning on this sink. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Keep his own secrets. The affair was outed when the FBI...